Welcome back to RBL. Today guys, we're gonna be going over my get home bag. This one's a little different than the rest. This one, the update and get a better bag. So I have the Man Crow. Um, it's a very heavy duty bag. Has these nice foamy, cushiony armbands, as well as a nice cushion back and lower side. As well as a lot of different compartments. You can lock it up if you really wanted to. Also has a spot where you can plug in a power bank on the inside and charge right from here, which is really cool. Has these nice side pockets. Also have a compass and thermostat in the exterior. This is a very nice bag in general. Very good quality. And it's perfect for a kit. So we'll start with the smaller pockets in the exterior and then work our way in. Make sure we're all if we're not in view here. Here we are. Okay, for the first pocket, we have our first aid kit, which has a CPR mask, tourniquet, some safety pins for um, an arm sling. We have some nurtile gloves. Some wipes to clean out your wound, clean up your hands before you clean out your wounds. And I have sting relief pads in here with some triple antibiotic ointment and whatnot. Good little first aid kit. Oh, as well as a razor blade to cut out anything is necessary. Here we have six packs of 10 hour hand warmers. You should see me checking every kit because Every kit different is different, and uh, it's hard for me to keep track. Here we got six hand warmers, 10 hour hand warmers. That's it for that. Moving on to the next pocket. Here's where the fun begins. We have our headlamp from Defiant. Very nice lightweight headlamp. And we also have our Cyrus Survival electric lighter, which comes in this awesome little waterproof case. Cyrus from Cyrus Survival, Cyrus Survival, whatever you want to call it. Here we have a large Mylar survival blanket to keep us warm. And that with the hand warmers will keep you warm in very cold conditions. Here. We have our sewing kit that's bulging out the top. It's always, always good to check your kits and components. Very good stuff. We have zip ties, wire. Here's your needles. You got duct tape. You got your thread. You got your safety pins. You got button. Everything you need in this kit. Here we have a fishing kit. I know this is a bug out or a get home bag. But at the same time, I still like having fishing kits with me just because I like the line because you can do a lot of stuff with that line here we have my flask you know why right now it's empty <laughs> that's it for that pocket I believe let's just double check it says a lot of nooks and crannies that I did not use but you guys will probably be able to use them better than me here for the top we just have some UCO stormproof matches for fire starting, of course, as well as a multi tool that has a whole bunch of bits. So, if we want to do some screwdriving or take dismantling something, we can. It's a very basic multi tool. You got the saw and all that stuff, it's very loose coming out like that. Um, definitely not a Gerber. A Garber. You got a nice blade, you got your file, can opener, bot opener. Very good to have a multi-tool with you. This is the one thing that Les Stroud always had with him in the wilderness. Here we have a signal whistle. If you need to divert some attention or call for help or signal for help, there you go. As well as a signal mirror. And I also went ahead and thrown in a magnification lens magnification card fire starting your first aid we have some more cordage here we have some snare wire 
We also have a survival card. This gives you more abilities. Anything helps out there. And we have a P-51 military can opener. And we have our flashlight. And I like this one because they zoom. So it's just great to have a zoom on a flashlight. That's it for that spot. Now for the side pockets. On this side, I just have a local map of Michigan. Or a state map of Michigan. And on this side, we have our solar battery bank. So we can charge in the go. As well as an actual battery bank. I can plug in. And we have a phone charger. To go with things. That's our flip side. Going to the main compartment now. Oh, watch the plate carrier. Oh, where are my zippers at? Oh, wait, no, that's not it. Goodness gracious, Lord audacious. I'll blame you guys, this is all your fault. <laughs> there you go. No, no, see, this is what I meant. This is not it. This is it. Got me unzipping the wrong thing, guys. So you get for rushing me. Okay. Now we're just gonna start with this main top bag right here. Here. We have our water purification tablets. Pure fine on the go. As well as the Sawyer Squeeze for filtering your water. And then we have a Frontier water filtration straw. Just in case this gets clogged and you need to filter water really fast. You can bring it go. And then we have our spoon for eating, of course. <laughs> okay, for a form of cover, we have a thick contractor bag. 55 gallon trash bag. Again, we can use that for coverage or sleeping. We can make it into a sleeping bag with the Mylar blanket. Or we can use it just for rain cover or shelter making or anything like that. Also, we have an emergency shelter. So that can help with us. If Even if you're in a building, this is where great for maintaining body heat and just using your body heat to warm you up. So you're not warming up such a huge place. I have my military canteen. Uh, is metal so I can boil it in the canteen itself and I also have this bottom part that comes out of the pot works great for boiling water Let's go over there and for a knife or a main knife I have my uh, Mora uh, Gerber or Garberg as a ferrocerium rod right here Still a little, I gotta twist it. There you go. It's got a nice tight seal, so you don't lose it, but I still feel like I'm going to, and it did fall off my bag at one time. Also, I have a blade sharpener on this side. Great sheath, great knife. I love this thing. Here we have three different instant coffees. Basically from MRE kits, or MREs. They all work the same. Give you caffeine and sugar, and a bunch of sugar packets to go along with them. Also went ahead and put a pair of socks in there. Fresh pair of socks will save your life. Another way to keep it warm, I went ahead and added my winter face mask, or camo hunting mask. It just keeps your head and face pretty warm. Also, I added a neck scarf that can also be used as a face mask or full head wrap. But usually, just for a neck scarf, just cover up your neck, keep that one. For navigation, I added a compass along with the map. Ideally, these should be together, but I didn't want to put this in the exterior of my bag and have somebody smash into me or drop it or something like that and it smash my compass up. But a very basic military compass. Very nice compass though. 
Just because it's basic doesn't mean it's not good. Basic just means it works correctly. Here we have our flashlight, it has a couple different modes. Great flashlight. Good size one too, so if you need to hit someone with it, be a pretty good weapon. Looks like I went ahead and added two multi-tools to this one, because I also have my Garber. Gerber. This is not the outdoors one, this is a utility one, but it does still have the saws and whatnot. I know this one has two different saws. Can't go wrong with two multi tools though. I like this one just because it has the bit aspect, so it's nice for disassembling stuff or taking stuff apart. Here we have a emergency whistle or an emergency radio as solar powered or hand cranked. Uh, I believe it also does take battery. If I can get this open, I don't think this is supposed to open. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to open. Um, it's just hand crank and solar, but this is great to know what's going on in the world around you. And keep updated. I went ahead and added a rain suit. So it has my poncho, my shirt, and my pants. So I'm fully dry. Also added a good amount of 550 paracord. I believe this is 100 feet, 50 feet. You be the judge of that. So good enough to last for a little while. We have two crackers from Humanitarian Aid along with a cra or cookie. This is a shortbread cookie. We have three packs of emergency water just to get you going. Along with a mainstay nutrition bar. We have six packs of nuts and berries. We have three main entrees to humanitarian aid MREs. We have two instant oatmeals. We got strawberry and peanut butter jam and peanut butter. <laughs> Not peanut butter jam. We have Starkiss or a can of Starkiss tuna. We have a pack of wild or light tuna. And we have some Indian, Indian coconut curry. We also have some sardines. We can. Really hope this is on camera. <laughs> Just like showing it off camera the whole time. I would have cried. Here we have Smart Rust. If I am showing stuff off camera, please work with me, guys. And just getting into this and changing up the angles does, you know, change up the whole thing. Here we have a Smart Rust sleeping pad just to get you off the ground. I'm gonna go with that Mylar sleeping bag or pad or blanket. It'll be like more than warm. Is it getting off the ground from the aspect of it? And that's it, guys. You could add, if you really wanted to, a summer sleeping bag, but that's really up to you. Uh, let me know what you guys would do differently in the comments. I always love hearing back from you guys. And again, guys, I am launching a Discord server. The link is in the bio. If you guys want to be a couple of the first people in there, help me get it to where it needs to be i love hearing from you guys and i love hearing suggestions and that is a place i really do want it and need it so let me know what you guys think there have a nice day and thank you guys for watching